Hey there, welcome back to the Grizzly Kitchen. This is Ashley, and today I'm gonna to be showing you all the different cutting techniques for the carrot. I've probably cut 4,000 carrots in my lifetime, so I think I know what I'm doing. First, let's peel the carrot. I like to peel it in two different peels where I do the bottom, and then I turn it around and do the top. I just find that this is really efficient and it's just my favorite way. Some people say you need to lay the bottom down and leverage the carrot on another surface, but ugh, look how tedious this is. Look at those ugly pieces all over your cutting board. So I quickly say goodbye to that method and go back to my two cutting techniques of the top and the bottom. So much faster. Remember to clear your cutting board or not. <laughs> So some people think that you need to do the whole thing in one full swoop, but again, look how slow that was. So let's go back to my way, the best way. So once you have your carrots peeled and you've gotten rid of all that garbage into your garbage bowl, there's many things we can do with it. We can cut on a bias. I like really doing this a lot for roasting or for salads. And always remember to discard the top and the bottom of the carrot as well. Get those little elegant bias cuts out of the way. Or you can do fat thick cuts for roasting as well. These are really nice with finger link potatoes. Imagine doing them in the exact same way and then roasting them together. It's so beautiful and delicious. You can always vary the width if you want to do thin slices for salads. For the look of a crudite platter or little carrot sticks, just slice in half and then slice again. And those are for dipping or just eating for a snack. If you want to do a dice or longer carrot sticks, I always like to cut the carrot in half first. I find that it's easier to deal with. And then again, just slice through halfway and then take those and then depending on how thick you want them you can slice them into halves or thirds and set them apart now cut a flat a piece off of the carrot so you can lay the thick piece flat and then cut that piece into planks again this is for dicing or for doing matchsticks if you want to sound really fancy to people you can throw around the term julienne which is what we're doing right now. Cutting, you know, the slice into very, very fine pieces. And then to, if you want to turn them into a really, really tiny dice and use another fancy French technique word, the brunoise dice, which is about an eighth of an inch dice. And just cut all the way through. Remember to always tuck your fingers back. If you want to be even more efficient, you can lie the planks on top of each other. And we cut the flat piece off first because we want to be able to leverage, to use you know, our knife to its capability without the carrot rolling around the cutting board. And again, you can always vary the width of the slices so you can get different types of dice depending on what you're doing. The dice can be used for salads, but most of the time it's used for sauteing, you know, with onion and celery for mirepoix or sofrito. And here we are, the different ways, the thick cuts, the dice, the little babies, and then the little snack that I'm gonna eat on my finger. <laughs> okay, there we are guys. For more recipes, check out www.thegrizzlykitchen.com and don't forget to subscribe.